welcome back. It's Rachel and today I'm talking to you about basil and specifically I'm talking about propagating basil and how to do it such that you never have to grow basil from seed ever again. So this plant here is a plant that I grew from a cutting from my best looking basil plant from the summer. All of my basil was outside and even though it was in containers there was no way I was going to have room by windows enough for me to be able to bring it all inside for the winter. Um, and a lot of it had started going to seed anyway. So what I did was I cut the top off of one of my best looking plants and rooted it in water. Um, and you can kind of see what I mean here because I did the same thing to this plant when it got big enough. Um, I took this cutting and I just uh, popped it in a cup of water and you can see it has grown some nice little roots. Um, and it's important to keep in mind that it starting to grow those roots is gonna take a while. Uh, I think for me it took something like a week to even start seeing the little nubs of roots starting to form. Um, and if you want to speed up the process, uh, you can use a like rooting hormone. It comes in like a little jar. Um, at most, most garden centers will have something like that and you can use that to speed up this rooting process of your basil. Um, and so the main idea here is just that I was able to save this one plant um, and even though I didn't have enough saved to use over the winter, um, I am not starting this again from seed. Um, and I already have two viable plants from this, whereas the basil that I started from seed uh, this year, the, the different kinds of basil that I'm trying, um, those are still, those are still itty bitty little things. Um, and it'll be quite a long time before I can start propagating them like this. So I've got a pretty decent head start here on my basil. Um, and today I just wanted to uh, involve you guys in the potting process of moving this now rooted basil into its own little pot. So I've gone from one plant to two plants. Um, so all I've done, this pot actually, um, it had a dead plant in it. It was something that we just forgot because it was in a weird spot in the yard. Um, and so I pulled out the dead plant and I uh, mixed some uh, Trifecta Plus fertilizer into this potting soil um, and re-wetted it. So now it is damp and fertilized and ready for my basil plant. Um, so I'm just gonna make kind of an indentation here in the soil so that the roots can go all the way straight down and not get uh, curled up. All right, so I have effectively repotted this basil. Um, and before I finish up, I just want to show you uh, where I cut this plant um, such that it's producing all of this new growth um, and was able to survive me cutting this bit off of it. All right, so you can see right in there, right there, that is the original stem that I cut. Um, and the way you cut basil such that it survives something like this is you cut it right below a set of big leaves, but right above the little crooks. So as this plant goes up, it'll do sets of big leaves out. And in the crooks of each of those leaves, like right, right in these little crooks, it'll start growing little bits of new leaves. And if you don't do anything, some of these will grow and they'll be kind of small-ish compared to the rest of the plant. Um, but if you cut right above it, then these, the energy of the plant will go into growing all of these side bits. And you basically are going to cause your plant to bush out like this instead of growing straight up. Um, and so that's great for the plant and that's great for you because it increases the production of each plant. Um, and it also means that this plant is easy to cut for cuttings. You can easily take the top off, have the plant survive, not just survive, but do even better. 
and then have a whole nother plant right over here. So when this one gets big enough, I'll be able to cut the top off. And it, again, it'll do just like this one did, where it'll start bushing out. Um, and you'll see as time goes on that this will kind of stretch itself out and it won't be all concentrated right here forever. Alrighty, well, that is all that I have for you guys today. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. But until then, happy gardening. Thank you guys for watching.